for me, certainly on my journey, this reconnection with myself, healing within my family, mm. as the truth begins to be revealed yes. at a particular point in our life. Interesting that both our fathers passed away. Mm. Why do you think that, that your father passed and then? I've thought quite a lot about this, mm -hmm. the timing of why then. Mm. And the best I can come up with is that when my mother and father, who were married for nearly 50 years, when they're a unit, there is very little space to approach these deep issues because they had to keep their trauma sealed up. Mm -hmm. That is the nature of a survivor's mind. Mm -hmm. To start a new life and a new beginning, raise a small child, you know, escape from a revolution in Hungary, all that, it's quite a lot. So their priority was to put that out of mind. I mean, putting it into the right brain, out of mind. A child has zero chance then of connecting to that. Now, when my father passed away, my mother is no longer able to be sealed up in that relationship. Yes. And she then gives her testimony. Yes. Why does she give it then? Mm. I think we're both starting to be um, mobilized by the grief and the loss and the shock and nothing less than something as deep and powerful as next of kin passing yes. can really find the combination lock to open that up, I think. Which is the lock of? Well, for me, the translating the lock, it's the frozenness starting to defrost. So I use a different metaphor than yeah. lock and key. Yeah, yeah. Because in trauma, what I would say, we lived a frozen family life. With his passing, my dad's passing created so much heat that I think my mum's frozenness was brought into the present day. She was frozen from 1944-45. My frozenness from perhaps before birth into the frozen environment, then going through a revolution and escaping and so on from Hungary, I think my frozenness melted me. So here we have two frozen cores starting to melt. Yeah. And as it melts, these little tendrils, which actually when you started gesturing, I thought, oh, that's neuroplasticity. It's just the fibres actually <laughs> moving inside each of our beings towards each other. Yeah. So I think it was something about the frozenness and the heat of grief melting enough for us to initiate something. It was yeah. unknown then. So from death within our family has come this great healing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, now, I would actually mm. use a slightly different word mm -hmm. for the simple reason I use the word healing with a very, very dear friend, uh, Daisy Miller, who yeah. was connected with the Visual History Foundation. Yeah. Now, I interviewed Daisy, and uh, before the interview, she said, why do you want to interview me? I said, look, you're a child survivor, and I'd like to know how you got through all this healing. Mm. And she nearly bit my head off. See. Really? And I said, what's just happened? She said, do you really think I can be healed? Good question. And I, and I said, no. Mm -hmm. Daisy said, George, have a think. Try to find some other word. Yeah, yeah. And so then I, I, I found the word that I really felt, which was yeah. repair the trauma. Uh -huh. And she said, I'll go with that. Mm -hmm. And as you say, David, trauma happens. That's not the issue. It's whether or not we've got the ability to repair or heal. Well, it's, yeah, it's interesting. I, I, I hear what you say. I think for me, though, it is a return to love. Yes. It's a return to love, yeah. and I think there's, there's, there's a, well, I know there's a publication out there, a return to love. Yes. Where have we come from? Love. Where are we going back to? Love. That is healing journey. Yeah. That is a healing it's journey a for me. It's yeah. simply that. Yeah. Whether you call it repair or healing, it's one and the same thing. Repair, are we really repairing or are we 
taking away layers of protection? Are we taking away, because we yes. both talked about this, mm. the, 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 def, you know, the defreezing, the defrosting of the heart. Mm. The heart genuinely, my heart wants to give to the world. Mm. To everyone well, and from everything you said it is <laughs> it's yeah. radiating so it so <laughs> talk about the warmth and the defrosting yeah. defrost the world's trauma and it all comes back to this connectivity that you were with your mother mm. we need to do that we do it with ourselves we then our families are impacted immediately by our own healing even if our mother and you know my mother doesn't want to do any personal work mm. she said David I don't yeah. I don't, and I'm like, I respect that, I Mark. Say to respect. But what's happening is that, that we are healing regardless because we're in the field. So my doing my personal journey and work, speaking the truth, mm -hmm. being out here is healing our family. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So actually they don't even have to do it. Yes. I mean, mm. you know, if you put a radiator into a room, one doesn't have to want to warm up. No, that's right. <laughs> it just how it is. <laughs> it just automatically yeah. happens. Yeah. I love your descriptions. Yeah. Yeah.